Hey up guys, um, this is going to be a quick video, this is just to show people um, why their screen goes black when they um, put the HD PVR in. Um, I'm not actually sure if this works with the HD PVR 1, but I've actually got the number 2, the gaming edition. And I thought I'd, this would be a great video just to help you guys out because I was buggered. I, I didn't figure out how the hell to do it. Uh, obviously I figured it out, but I mean uh, eventually. Um, so let's just show you what it looks like um, and then I'll tell you how to fix it. So as you can see my TV is black, uh, there's no there's no fucking video at all and then if you go over there onto your ArcSoft software you can see that everything's working perfectly. There is a bit of a delay so just bear with me a second guys, like if I press up you see the little green bar, I've already pressed it, it's going to take a while, there you go, it goes up, down and there's still nothing on my TV. Um, I am actually on the display settings here on Xbox, so what it is, is your TV may not be able to support um, the the output that you're trying to get from your display on your Xbox. So say that you say that mine could not do 1080p, for some reason I do not know why. Right, I'm not actually that quite good at that bit, but mine, and you can't really tell if it's going to go blurry, yeah it's going to go blurry, current settings it says 1080p. Now I'll put that back onto that just to show you that it's gone back to black. Now all you do is obviously um, you need to get your controller and you need to use the ArcSoft software um, to obviously to look to look at because you, you haven't got a TV, obviously. Um, so go to your, I think it's settings and system settings, I don't know, and then HDMI, TV or something like that. You, you end up getting to display anyway. Hopefully you can get to that part because that bit's easy. Um, now what I need to do, I know you can barely see what that says, but I need to go to the top one which says HD TV settings. I've just pressed, I've just gone too far now, I've just gone on the screen saver, just bear with me. Just back, it's just this delay feature. Right, let's go back to the top one. Press A. Now if I change this, and I don't want 1080i, I've been told that 720p is better because 720p you can get um, 60 frames per second, 1080i you can only get 25 frames per second, so I'm going to keep with 720, and if I press A, let's see if it does anything, and it's come up saying your display is now going to in 50hz, so press yes. 50 hertz or whatever it is, it's changing from 60 to 50. It says now displaying at 50 hertz. Does this display appear correctly? Press yes. It's coming there. Display appear correctly. For some reason it's still not showing up. Let me just turn my. Oh, there we go. So just leave that even. Press anything then. If you just leave it for a few seconds, it pops up straight on your TV. And I would I would suggest uh, to get some great uh, video footage from your gaming is to keep it in 720. Obviously, 60 frames per second is a lot better. Um, but that's how you get your TV from being a black screen to working perfectly. So I hope that helps, guys. I hope that helps. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment this video. It'll help me out so much. Um, I'll be bringing some really cool, hopefully some cool game footage uh, with face cam commentary, maybe even some funny stuff in the future. Uh, if you haven't not seen, I've, I will post. I've already had one up with FIFA, and I've also done some drunken ones with me and my mates playing FIFA on face cam. So make sure you subscribe, and you'll catch them uh, in the near future. And yeah, that's it, guys. So I will see you. Oh, sorry. I'll ho I hope that helped you, and I will see you on my next video. Catch you in a bit guys.